Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be giving you an introduction to the basic array ops inside of Cables. So I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Please make sure that with the grid op that your spacing is set to 0 0.2. Okay, so we're all familiar with using numbers inside of cables. So what's an array of numbers? An array of numbers is basically a list of numbers. So how do we make one? Well, there's many methods, but let's start with the simplest one. I'm gonna make a continuous number array op. This is a really simple op. I'm gonna put the amount of values on 10, and now I'm gonna press this inspect button here to see the array contents. And here we can see the start of the array and the end of the array. And these are its contents, zero, one, two, three, and so on. It's got a length of 10 because zero also counts as a value. So if I go here and I put this on 20 and inspect it, we have an array with a length of 20 and the numbers go from zero to 19. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna visualize like a sine wave with an array because it's a nice way to get to grips with how these ops inside of cables work. So first of all, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna make an array pack free. Why? The point cloud from array op expects three numbers for the X, Y, Z component for each point. So I'm gonna give this a trigger first of all and this one array is now gonna go into the Y component and the Z component. So this is X, Y, Z. I'm now gonna plug this in here. And we have one point on the screen. So let's click point material, make it a bit bigger. But we know that we have 20 values inside of this array, or just even 10, but we only see one point. Why is this? Because this is zero and one is off the screen. So what I wanna do is I wanna normalize the values inside this array. I never want them to go below zero or above one. It's really easy to do this. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna grab a value up. I'm gonna rename this array length. So with this, we decide the length of the array. So I'm gonna put this on 20, as you can see, this guy now has a length of 20. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna create an array divide up. Divide all values in an array by one number. So if you get the contents of an array and you divide it by its length, which is this, watch what happens. We now have values between zero and one. So let's just disconnect this and redrag these with the right mouse button over here. And let's connect this. And let's just make the point size a little bit smaller again. And as you can see, we've now got these points on the screen. So what I want to do now is I want the start to be here and I want the end to be there. So I'm gonna go here. And this is why we're normalizing, right? Between zero and one, so we understand what's happening. So I'm gonna grab the transform up. I'm gonna put it on position X minus one. And I'm gonna put the scale on two. I'm now gonna to go to the Y component that's in the middle, and I'm gonna grab the array sin op. I'm gonna put the amplitude down so you can see what's happening here. Let's just say 0 0.5, and let's put the frequency on two. Now, as you can see, um, it's gone off the screen. Why is this? Well, if we look at the Z component, which is here, and we do array multiply, Let's just make it a bit of space here. So X, Y, Z, and I pull this down. What's happening here? Well, basically, this continuous number array has values from zero to 19. We normalize it, so the array contents are between zero and one. So this is the X axis, horizontally. The Y axis is the vertical one. And the Z axis is the one going away from the camera. So because this was up here, as you can see, the points are kind of going off into the distance. So I'm gonna put it on zero because I wanna map them to the grid. So I'm now gonna put the frequency on four. And I'm gonna increase the amount of points in there to say 100. And this looks like we now have a sine wave. So if I now use phase, as you can see, we're gonna move this along. But 
it doesn't really match up now, does it? Well, that's a little bit uh, of trigonometry in there, but let's keep it really simple now. If we go to frequency and pull it out and grab the pi or p up, it returns this number, pi. I'm going to add it. And wow, voila, we now have one half of an exact cycle. If I go in between and add a multiply up, we multiply it by two, let's just type that in, we now get one perfect waveform. And if you watch what now happens, if I put this on 20 or 50 or 200, it always stays in its exact range. And that's because we're normalizing the array here. We're dividing the values inside that array by its length. So um, we can now go here and we can grab a seal um, up. This turns um, a floating point number into an integer, which is like a whole number. And we're going to grab a value. And 0 gives us this. 1 gives us this. 2, 3, 4. And the reason we have the seal up on there is because if I now drag this, it's going to just jump to whole numbers. So let's put this on, say, 8. There's a lot of gaps in between. So now we can increase the length of the array. Let's put it on 1,000. Um, so this is how we can visualize what's happening inside of an array by using the point material and the point cloud from array up. So I would recommend that you just play around with these ops uh, just to get the hang of like what arrays are and how you can use them inside the cables. Don't worry if you're not following it all right now. After doing this a couple of times, it's going to make a lot of sense. Just don't forget to click this inspect icon here, which is going to show you uh, the contents of the array. I'd advise you to keep the values um, small when you do this. So like if we click here, we can see what's happening. So this was a basic introduction to some of the array ops inside the cables. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forum. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Bye.